Welcome to Warnemunde, Germany, guys. This is a great place. We have a whole day here till 9 p.m. We are taking a bike ride in the middle of the forest, going along the coast and see the beautiful, beautiful beaches. Right outside the port, you'll find a train station. Those trains will take you everywhere. Uh, first, they will take you to Rostock, but there are also special trains that goes to Berlin. Uh, you can go with the multiple trains to go to Hamburg and a lot of different beautiful places. But the train station is just literally like right here. Just right outside the port. So you don't need to look for anything. It's just for you, right there. You're also gonna find the little booths with strawberries. Uh, strawberries here are amazing. If you ever try organic strawberry in US or wherever, very close to it, but still the taste is for some reason completely different. They're more sweet and more they have more flavor in it. So now, one of the best things in Europe, especially in Varnemunde. Doner Kebab. This place is absolutely amazing. I'm coming here every nine days. Look at the line. From all those um, ports that we are in, this is the best kebab right now, right here. Kebab or falafel. I'm choosing falafel because I don't eat meat, but you can choose whatever you like. So if you've ever been in Varnemunde, you have to, you have to try this um, falafel. It's absolutely amazing. The best in all the ports. We're gonna take a bike ride and normally what we do, we're keeping this for picnic. But we are so hungry and we haven't had this such a long time that I'm just gonna have it now. After this amazing kebab, I think I have some of my mustache. We're gonna rent bikes and this is a great place to go to. We rent from here about four times and bicycles are very good shape. They never break and stuff like this, so that's a good thing. And uh, yeah, and they're cheap. They're like about nine euro per day, I think. Eight or nine, we'll find out. I grew up um, next to the same sea in a different country, it's a Baltic Sea and when you are a kid you don't care if the water is cold or hot, whatever, you just jump into the water because that's the best thing to do. I wouldn't jump into this water now. I am such a, if I should say, French dog after seeing all those places and being in the warm seas. I don't think I'm going to ever swim in the Baltic again. Okay, we are getting to the part that is a sandy part, so I am probably gonna get off the phone or not. Let me try to ride that thing down. Oh crap, this is gonna be crazy. No knee pads, no shorts, no helmet. Oh crap. Hey! There we go. Well, that was fun. <laughs> one hand held. Oh crap, there's another one. Oh, oh shit. This is not a mountain bike, I forgot to say. This is like a, you know, <laughs> a regular bike. Hello. 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 Not even one person says hello. Welcome to Europe. I guess people getting a little bit intimidated when I say hello and I'm taping them. Because it's kind of weird. Hello. Hello. Oh, maybe not. But they, ha they haven't seen that I'm taping them. That's the trick. <laughs> So just right outside of Varnemunde, you have a nudist beach. I hope I'm not gonna offend anybody. Enough of the nudist beaches. We're gonna go ahead and keep on riding our bicycles towards the next town. Montando bicicletas. We always try to teach each other Polish and Spanish and then we do so much that we forget everything that we learn. Yeah. Doggies! Hi! Oh, Schnauzer. I had a beautiful dog long, long time ago. His name was Maurice. It was a half Schnauzer, half Poodle. 
amazing combination. This dog was so smart. I teach him everything. Not just like sit and you know, crawl and like lay and whatever. But when I smoked cigarettes long time ago, he actually was bringing me cigarettes when I asked him to do that. In those bikes, you have three brakes. One in the front, one in the back, which is, you know, next to your steering hand handle, and one in the pedals. So if you're gonna push the pedals backwards, you will stop, which is kind of cool for like, oh wait, I'm going up here. There we go. Which is a kind of cool thing to do when you know, I wanna slide like sideways. Feeling cool? Oh yeah, I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> sign it's for honey so you're gonna get off the road we've been here some time ago so we're gonna go over here again and pick up some amazing honey <laughs> gonna go, go to Varnemunde or Rostock, Rostock you, you can, can get, get this honey. honey. <laughs> <laughs> called Ostabad. I am probably butchering this name. Anyway, uh, it's about, I think it's five, five or six kilometers away from Varnemunde. And this is by, uh, by, you know, on the foot or bicycle. I don't know how to get it by car. It doesn't really matter to me. But look at that, this is just amazing. To be honest with you, I remember Baltic being that really nice and hot. It just brings some memories right now, you know, from childhood. It's great, it's a great day. Mm -hmm. 